Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are gonna be talking about the five things I wish I knew before I started my fitness journey. So I hope these five tips help you. They've helped me so much to stay consistent, not be too hard on myself, everything like that, and I hope these help you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, subscribe so you never miss a video with me ever again, and let's just get talking. So tip number one is motivation will always come and go. There is no such thing as being motivated every single day, and that is completely normal do not beat yourself over not being motivated it is okay and completely normal to not be motivated all the time what's really important is to create the healthy habits so when the motivation is not there you still get your butt up and you go to the gym motivation will not be there but discipline is what you need to focus on discipline over motivation every single day you've probably heard me say that over and over again but you should definitely be disciplined enough to still go on the days you are supposed to go even though your motivation might not be there it's okay if you sit in front of the gym for 30 minutes just staring at your gym trying to pep yourself up to get in there that is okay the first step is the hardest step to get your booty into the gym but once you are there i can promise you that you probably will feel a lot better when you are walking out that door when you're done with your workout tip number two there is more than one way to create a healthy lifestyle what works for me might not work for you and that is okay if you don't like weight training that is okay there are a ton of different types of workouts that you can try that you probably will like better something that will fit you and your personality and what you like a lot more when i first started i used to just live on the treadmill live on the elliptical and then go do abs for 30 minutes and i literally hated it i thought that was the only way to get to where i wanted to be but then i started weight training and i fell in love with it you can do yoga, Zumba, spin, weight training, cardio, the ones on the trampoline. Like you can do anything that you want. The thing is you need to enjoy it. The only way that you can keep going is if you actually like going. Find something that works for you. Find something that you actually enjoy doing and you fall in love with. The thing is if you are going and doing something that you absolutely hate, more than likely you're going to give up in two weeks. More than likely you're not going to want to go. Find the type of workout that works for you and also find the type of nutrition diet that works for you. I personally like to count macros in Intuitive Eat, but if you want to do keto, there's intermittent fasting, macro counting, intuitive eating. There's so many different types of lifestyle things that you can choose for yourself. But the thing is, like, you need to make sure A, you enjoy doing it and B, that it is sustainable. So you need to make sure that you can do this type of eating and you can do this type of exercise forever. It's not something that you can only do a short period of time. This needs to be sustainable. Find an eating routine that you enjoy and a workout routine you enjoy and it will be a lot easier to show up every single day. Tip number three. I wish I would have known this at the beginning because I know you can be so dang hard on yourself when you miss a workout. So tip number three is don't be hard on yourself if you miss a workout. Your gains are not going to be thrown out the window if you miss a workout. Life happens. Sometimes your body is like, heck no girlfriend, I am not working out today. Or sometimes your day is literally like so busy you can't even find five minutes to eat lunch. That is okay. Those days, if you can't make it to the gym, do not stress about it. More than likely, your body just needs to rest anyway. And that is okay. Okay, overtraining, working out seven days a week, every single week, that is doing a lot more harm than good, believe it or not. Rest days are just as important as workout days. So don't be so hard on yourself if you feel like you're not doing anything because you're not going to get your normal workout routine in. Go outside, go on a 30 minute walk on your rest day, just move your body, keep moving, but it is okay if you miss a workout. <laughs> Tip number four is probably like one of my favorite tips food is your best friend food is not 
the enemy. And I know how hard it can be to really believe that because I've been there. I've been the type of person who I won't eat a certain amount of food or I won't eat a certain type of food because I thought it was going to make me fat or lose all my progress. But honestly, you guys, your body needs food to thrive. Your body needs food to get you through your workouts, to get you through your day-to-day -day life. Literally, your body needs it. Just don't go for the junk. Eat food that makes you feel good. Eat the food that will make you thrive during your workouts, thrive during the day. When you eat food that's not good for you, you're going to feel it and you're going to feel sluggish. Don't suppress your calories down to 1,200 calories when you're supposed to be eating 1,600 to hit your goal. When you don't eat enough calories, it can cause you major setbacks in your journey and I think a lot of people don't realize that. Your body goes into starvation mode and it starts holding on to your fat. So you're not going to lose your fat because it's holding on to it for energy. So you need to make sure you're eating the right type of foods and you're supposed to be eating a lot of it too. Honestly, people are so shocked all the time when I send them how many calories they're supposed to be eating every day with their macros and everything like that. But it's true. Your body needs food in order for you to hit your goals, in order for you to lose the weight, to gain muscle, to sustain like literally anything. Your body needs food. Do not take food away from it. And honestly, like you guys know, if you followed me for a long time, I'm one of those people who's like 80% of the time I'm eating clean, whole foods, foods that are only going to benefit my body. 20% of the time, if I want that cookie, I, I'll eat it. I know that cookie's not going to make me gain five pounds. I don't punish myself if I have a dessert. I think when your mindset is that if you have a cookie, you need to go to the gym for an extra hour the next day, that is a really negative mindset to be in. Just know that it is okay. You are building a lifestyle. So as long as you're eating pretty dang good the rest of the time, a cookie, a bowl of ice cream, a glass of wine, anything you want is not going to kill your progress at all. I can promise you guys that. And honestly, live a little. You deserve that cookie. And tip number five, the one that I literally have to remind people all the time is results take time. They do not happen overnight. They do not happen in a week. They do not happen in two weeks. They don't happen in a month. Honestly, you guys, consistency is your best friend. You need to be consistent. You can't expect you to drop 15 pounds in a week. Like that is just not A, sustainable and B, not healthy at all. Like you need to find something that you enjoy, that you can keep going so then you can get to where you want to be in the long run. There is no such thing as shortcuts. Everything takes time. What's worth it takes time, unfortunately, and the, your health, your goals, everything like that, that does take time. If you don't see results in the first two weeks, do not give up. Keep pushing yourself, stay motivated, keep moving forward. I promise you will get there, but you need to do this for the long run. Don't expect it to come easy. Don't expect it to be quick. These things take time. Good things take time. It will happen. Just relax, keep going, take your progress photos, and I promise you it will happen for you. So those five tips have honestly helped me so much. They were so important to not only know, but like really trust because come take it from me. Like I have been through motivation, not being there. I've been through not going to the gym and punishing myself, eating the cookie or the ice cream and being so mad at myself. I punished myself the next day, but that is not good. Like that lifestyle, you don't want to be in that lifestyle. So if you are looking for nutrition tips, nutrition help, a workout some type of guided workout plan that will help you stay consistent and help you reach your goals, just anything like that. I am running a challenge for the full month of November and I'm really, really excited about it. It is a four week challenge. It comes with a bunch of tips that will help you create and sustain a healthy lifestyle. Um, so if you guys are interested, I will leave that link down below so you guys can go check it out. I wanted to make it affordable for everybody. I made it less than $10 a week and it comes with so much information. It comes with all the information you would ever need. So I'm really, really excited. I, I can't wait if you are interested. I am here to help you. You have unlimited support from me during that challenge, which is amazing. So if you have any questions or anything, you have access to me and you'll also have access to a Facebook accountability group with all the other women who are doing this challenge. Honestly, it is so fun because if you're feeling unmotivated, you can pop into that Facebook group and see these other women who are unmotivated too, but really push through that or 
killed it with their workout or maybe they didn't have a good workout but that's okay honestly we're all in it together and I'm really excited to do it with you guys so like I said I'll leave that in the description box down below and if you guys have any questions feel free to let me know but I hope this video was helpful for you that is all for this video thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate it and I will see you guys next time